Thank you very much, Steve. It's uh, very good to be here today to uh, Professor Ferrer's staff, uh, students, uh, and I guess members of the press. It is a, a great pleasure to introduce uh, this new uh, Bachelor of Arts degree. Uh, could I just say that I'm particularly impressed with what I've seen uh, of the Gold Coast campus. Uh, I've never been here before. I wasn't aware uh, uh, of the size of uh, the campus here. But it really, in some ways, is reflective of what's going on in south-east Queensland uh, uh, as a whole. Uh, the growth of the population centres uh, in what I call uh, the Sun Belt you know, is really a feature of the new Australia. And to uh, see a campus here that's gone from, what, 3,000 or so uh, and up dramatically over a period of 10 years is a bit sort of emblematic of what is actually happening in what I call uh, the new Australia. And it is indeed places like this, communities like this and tertiary institutions like this uh, that are driving a new wave of uh, dynamism uh, and innovation uh, in, uh, in Australia as a whole. And that's important. I mean, you are increasingly part of uh, a growing uh, region of Australia which is becoming the powerhouse uh, of Australia, part of the engine room of, uh, of the new Australia uh, located in institutions uh, like this, which is why it's so good to see uh, some innovation in terms of the Bachelor of Arts degree. Steve did make the point that many universities are doing away with the degree altogether. From my way of thinking, a very well-educated uh, population is the foundation not only of a prosperous economy, but also of a cohesive and harmonious society. And the most fundamental skill uh, and the most fundamental uh, platform uh, for a society and for an economy is the capacity of its citizens to think. To think clearly. To think logically and to think creatively. And I don't think there is a better foundation for that than a Bachelor of Arts, particularly if it is uh, well grounded in what I regard as the great disciplines. The great disciplines which are the foundation for all thought, be it scientific or be, be, it, uh, be it creative or be it social. The capacity to understand English literature, for example. The capacity to know what has occurred throughout history. The capacity to communicate clearly they are all the foundation disciplines upon which all else is based. So that's why I regard uh, uh, the BA as something uh, that is uh, particularly important. But it is, a, I think, in some ways a tragedy that BAs are biting the dust in, in, uh, in some universities. But it's pleasing to see here uh, at Griffith Uni that uh, there is a renaissance uh, about to occur, and particularly in terms of the, uh, the methodology that is to be used in, in this degree with its emphasis upon uh, workplace uh, experience. Steve said to me that uh, I should talk a little bit about my experience uh, uh, achieving uh, my BA with honours at the University of Queensland uh, when I graduated, I think, in 1975. And I said uh, jokingly, well, if you remember the 70s, you weren't there. <laughs> but I do remember it very clearly. Um, and it was the, uh, the capacity to range across uh, a wide number of subjects, uh, be it in law, be it in economics, be it in history, be it in public policy, be it in political science, that I think did give me a very firm foundation uh, that has stayed with me and helped me through uh, the, the rest of my life. Because it, it's not so much the subject that you do, it's what you learn from it. And it's how you learn to learn uh, that, is, uh, that is so important. And that's why I am struck uh, by the fact that this degree also takes that approach and then joins it to uh, concrete work experience out there in the community. Because we see we don't just uh, live in a corporation. We actually do live in a community. And to ground this BA... Uh, in uh, work with our great non-for-profit organisations in this country, I think, is a very sensible thing to do. You use the term social enterprises, not-for-profit organisations, whatever they are. 
it's not sufficiently appreciated that having a very healthy and truly wealthy and prosperous not-for-profit sector is actually the key to a truly wealthy, healthy and productive market economy. Because even highly efficient, productive market economies don't function properly unless they've got highly efficient, productive, not-for-profit sectors. Because even in highly efficient market economies, there are market failures. And you do need not-for-profit organisations to move in and provide services in an efficient way. So I think it's an important uh, thing that this degree is going to be grounded in strong experience in the not-for-profit sector. The not-for-profit sector is a very large part of our economy. This is not sufficiently appreciated when you hear much of the debate that goes on about the nature of our economy and our society. For example, in the year 2000, 6.8% of Australians were employed in not-for-profit organisations. 6.8%. They had an income of $33.5 billion, and they contributed something like $21 billion to GDP. In 2000 terms, uh, their economic contribution was larger than the communications industry and about equal to that of agriculture. So the not-for-profit sector is a pretty important part of our economy, but it is also a much more important part uh, of our society because the not-for-profit sector does play a critical role in providing that foundation in society of fairness, which to my way of thinking is the secret weapon of economics anyway. Increasingly, those societies that are going to prosper in the 21st century will be those that take advantage of the full range of talents and abilities of their individual citizens. And in an ageing society and in a globe where, where talent and skills has become the modern uh, currency, those societies that will do best will be those that educate, train and fully utilise all of the capacities of all of their people all of the time. And that's where the not-for-profit sector is also so important because at the ground level it plays an essential role in giving people the opportunities to get a foot uh, into the market economy and picks up those who fall out of it through no fault of their own or maybe on some occasions through, through their own personal indiscretions. So to, to have a BA which is grounded uh, in current experience in not-for-profit organisations is truly something of benefit uh, to, uh, to the community and certainly, I think, in the interests of students who I'm sure will be rapidly snapped up by a whole range of organisations out there who have come to see that a cohesive society is a very important part of being an economically prosperous society. And if you watch the way in which corporate Australia in recent times has started to respond, started to, respond to the modern challenge of climate change, or the way in which corporate Australia has now started to really respond on the ground to becoming part and parcel of the solution of Indigenous disadvantage, more and more corporate organisations in our community will be looking to people who are trained in these areas because they all increasingly see it as part of their mission not just to make a profit, but to make a profit in a socially responsible way. So that's why I think uh, this degree is such a forward-looking uh, proposition at a time when uh, trends are going in the wrong direction. Foresight is a terribly difficult thing and sometimes many organisations lose it and they never recover from it. And in a globalised society, the capacity to have foresight and to change rapidly with changing circumstances is terribly important. Many organisations who missed the internet have been left behind and probably left behind forever. Same goes for many, many individuals who may have missed it as well. So picking up social trends is really the task of organisations such as this where there are people who are employed to be here to think and to have the conditions in which they can develop their foresight. And I think this degree will, will play a very important role in all of that.